opportunity. Now, here are some of the pitfalls of this visualization. Number one, as you can see here, that the baseline of this particular visualization starts at the 58 percentage point mark. That means that this visualization is not what it's indicating. It's not starting from zero. Thus, the difference between the two bars of 2009 and 2019 seem stark. This is what distorts the message that this graph is trying to convey. Now, let's take a look at the same graph, but represented differently with its starting point as zero instead of the 58 percentage point mark. You can see that the difference was not as substantial as indicated by the graph that we showed before. The graph on your right paints a picture that there has been a substantial decrease in the number of respondents who indicated that they followed a particular religion X. But when we kind of compare it with the baseline starting at zero points and then see how many percentage points of people indicated in 2009 versus 2019, we see that the, the difference is not as stark. The difference is definitely there but it's not as stark as it's indicated in the graph on the right. These are some of the consequences of bad visualizations. And that's the kind of things that we are supposed to be avoiding and being aware of. Thank you.